Can your birth control pill give you blood clots that could go in your legs, your lungs, and cause serious damage? You need to watch this. Hey everyone, welcome back. I am board certified OBGYN, Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, and welcome to my channel, the health class you wish you had in high school. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and turn on the bell, turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload. Okay, this week's video, can birth control pills give you blood clots? And when I'm talking about birth control pills here, I'm talking about the combination ones that have estrogen and progesterone in them. So before I show you the video on TikTok that made me watch this video, let's first talk about what blood clots even are. The type that I'm talking about are DVTs. That stands for deep vein thrombosis. This is when a blood clot forms in the deeper veins, usually in the legs. These can be dangerous because they can then travel to the lungs and cause serious problems, can cause issues with your lungs, your heart, and eventually could cause death if they're big enough. That's not good, right? So let's take a look at the TikTok that made me realize we need to talk about this. Okay, I just jumped out of bed because I saw this article and I was like, oh my God, people need to know about this. And this definitely needs to be shared more and more and more because this is so important. This happened to me. However, it wasn't in my brain, it was in my lungs. So what I had are called pulmonary embolisms. Okay, so that sucks. And I am so sorry that happened to that person. It looks like she was taking a type of birth control called Yaz, which I'll get to in a second here. I wanna talk about this because I want you to know just how common this actually is. So let's talk about some statistics. So you can get a blood clot or a DVT at any time in your life. So studies have shown us that those of us who are women and people with the uterus, out of 10,000 of us every year, just walking around, not on any birth control, this could happen to one to five of us out of 10,000. Now it is true that your risk does go up when you're on this kind of combined birth control pill, but that's not the whole story because your risk goes from one to five out of 10,000 a year to three to nine. So you could say it's a doubling of the risk, but the absolute number is still very low. And actually, here's the really important part. You're actually much more likely to have this happen to you when you're pregnant or you've just given birth. Those numbers go up to five to 20 per 10,000 women or people with the uterus per year if you're pregnant. And it goes much higher, even though the absolute number is still low, it goes much higher if you've given birth less than 12 weeks ago. So if you're less than three months postpartum, 40 to 65, out of 10,000 is the chance that you could develop one of these DVTs. So can your birth control pills give you blood clots? Yes, they can increase your risk, but it's not as high as a lot of TikToks and other social media make it sound. Now, I feel bad for that person 100% and what happened to them is real. Their luck sucked and they were part of that increased number, but I don't want you to think like what you see on social media is that it's going to happen to everybody who's on a birth control pill. If everybody who was on a birth control pill watched these videos, went off them, and was having unprotected sex or using a less reliable method like only condoms or something like that, they would be way more likely to actually get pregnant and be postpartum and then be at a much higher risk of developing blood clots. It's all about risk. So what about these ads that you see online and the billboards? Like if you've taken this pill, call us from lawyers who are encouraging you to sue your doctors or the drug companies for making these medications. Side note, I am not paid by any drug companies or any you know hospitals or anything like that for these pills. So anyway, so it is true that Yaz and Yasmin are two types of birth control pills that have been under a bit more scrutiny. This is because they contain a type of progestin called drosperinone. And there's been concern that this type of progestin makes you more likely to have blood clots than other types of pills that don't have this type of progestin in them. And reading from the data here, it says that the risk of blood clots in people using these types of pills is higher, about 10 per 10,000, as opposed to the other data that I shared with you in other types of birth control pills, which is three to nine per 10,000. So a little bit higher by like maybe one or a little bit more than that, but not a whole lot. And they importantly quote, however, the risk is still very low and much lower than the risk of getting a blood clot in pregnancy or postpartum. So, and again, just to show you the overall rate and the overall risk of you getting a blood clot, one on birth control or just walking around or pregnant or postpartum, you can see it a little bit more visually in this table here. So then you might be asking, okay, cool, Dr. Jen, but like, what do I do to decrease my risk? Excellent question, I'm so glad you asked. Actually, I just asked that myself. Anyway, so screening for things that make you higher risk for blood clots, 
and not a good candidate for being put on the pill is important. So this means a personal history of blood clots, a family history of blood clots, and other things that in combination can be dangerous, such as smoking over a certain age or certain amounts, having other medical conditions that make you more likely to have blood clots, having a blood clotting disorder. And no, we actually don't screen everybody for these before we start them on birth control pills or any other kind of birth control because they are so rare, it wouldn't lead to that much difference in terms of decreasing the rate of blood clots associated with these kinds of pills because it's still overall very rare. And I'll show you, this is an example of a guy that we can use when people are wanting to start on a kind of birth control and they might have some other medical issues such as diabetes or lupus or they're smoking or they're postpartum. And you can see here based on the numbers, it can be a one, two, three, or four. We can decide, okay, this is a good birth control method for somebody or mm, the risk may outweigh the benefits or vice versa, or no way, this is dangerous, stay away from it. So we have a lot of good data to help us guide us when we are trying to find a good birth control method for you. Okay, so can your birth control pill give you blood clots? It can, but it's still very rare. And if you want to avoid that at all, go ahead and choose a really reliable form of birth control that doesn't have any hormones in it. The best one that you could pick would be a copper IUD, topic for another day, but I hope this was helpful. Any thoughts, questions, comments, drop them in my comment section. Check out my references and resources for more in my show notes. And until then, happy contracepting. Stay safe, my friends.